Just before she left New Zealand for India, we sat down in Auckland with the new Miss World New Zealand Aotearoa, Navjot Kaur, for a one-on-one -on -one interview. Navjot, have you ever done anything like this before? No, I haven't. I haven't done any pageants or any, anything like this. It was a pretty fast track journey. Yeah. Um, but you still competed against 15 others and you, you beat your sister. Um, why do you think you won? Um, I actually don't know why I won, but I think because all the girls were really good. Um, they had really good like backgrounds and everything. And even in the catwalks, um, the dancing as well, everyone was good. But I think it's how you relate to people, maybe. And how did you feel after the, oh, judging rounds? Did you feel like, oh, I might have, I might have hit a mark here? Yeah, I think after the interview, when I talked to all of the judges, it just felt like a conversation that we, I got to put out my opinion, and um, they actually like listened and questioned on what I think and where I stand, and I think that's how I related to the judges. And I, I did go out and I told everyone, I was like, my, my interview was great, um, but yeah. Is that important to you that, you know, is that part of you being in something like this really important to you? Yes, I think um, aspiring other women as well, other young girls, um, it's very important, especially from the culture I come from. Um, I think a lot of girls shy away from platforms like this. I think it's important for them to get out and do what they want to do. Yeah. So what do you think that you can do with the platform? I think I can make people aware that beauty does serve many purposes. Like I've done quite a few things in, in my life. I've got a degree. I've become a police officer. I'm a personal trainer and a real estate agent. Um, and I think now with the Miss World New Zealand title, I feel like it's given me the opportunity to show people that you don't just have to follow one pathway or you just, if you don't like it or if you want to try something new, you should always put yourself outside of your comfort zone. You're a Kiwi. Yes. But um, maybe not from what other Kiwis would think of as the traditional Kiwi Indian background. Yeah. Tell us a bit about your background. Um, yeah, so growing up, I grew up in a state house. Um, it's not a typical Indian family or a Punjabi family you come from. Um, people would look at us and be like, oh, they're Indian, so they're probably like well off or they come from like a good background, they have everything. Um, that was not the case. I was raised by a solo mum and we lived in a state house. So that's where I think where we um, related to a lot of Kiwi kids. Um, because we were Kiwi kids ourselves and our neighbours were all Māori, Pacific Islanders, uh, Cook Islanders, uh, no Indians around us. So, yeah, growing up was quite different. So, your upbringing um, and what you've gone through, is that what makes you kind of have this underlying feeling of wanting to give back? Um, yes, so my upbringing is the biggest thing why I want to give back as well. Um, I joined the police because I wanted to help people. Um, but this platform, I think, will give me the opportunity to, you know, touch more hearts and help more families and girls show, to show them that they can do anything. I've come from a state house, so if you don't have to have barriers. I mean, it's a laudable aim. Um, that you want to give back, but how do you how do you actually think you'll do it? So I'm a Kids Can ambassador now, um, which is very close to what I believe in. Um, they provide food for schools, um, people that are living in poverty, desal one schools to desal three schools. Um, they provide brain jackets and warm jackets for kids that don't have jackets and shoes for kids that don't have shoes. Um, I think that's very important because growing up in Manrewa, I did notice whenever I used to go to school there were some kids that didn't wear have shoes or have jackets um, and I think it's really important uh, and it really aligns with the morals I hold and I think I would be a great ambassador because I would get out there on the field and actually help out. Are you looking forward to that part of the yes, part I'm of actually, journey? I think I'm most excited about get that part. I feel like I'll go into communities where I belonged 
and then I would give back and I think it would be an opportunity for me to show people that I've come from the same place and I've done this so can you. Do you think Kiwis get what's going on um, in their own backyard? Do they? Do you think people know? I mean, you've seen it. You've yeah. you've lived in that community. You've seen people who haven't got much, who haven't got food. But do you think Kiwis really get it? I don't think all of them do. Um, being in the police as well, I used to hear it over and over again from some of the, my colleagues um, saying that they get the benefit. They get this and they're not doing anything with their lives. They're provided with everything. They should like, you know, get out of that cycle and everything. I'm like, if you're not helping them, how are they going to get out? Yeah, you're putting an institution there. Go check your mental health, go do this. How do they, do you know how they'll get there? No. Do you know what underlies like if they've got kids, you know? And I feel like people don't look at the background of like things. Whenever like we used to jump onto a crime thing or like catch or arrest people, it was always, I used to always think you should look at why that person is doing that, where that behavior is coming from. And I feel like a lot of Kiwis don't notice that. So they all have, not all, most of them have this stereotypical um, mindset that they're not doing anything, they're not helping themselves, so why should we? But I believe that you need to get out there and always start from the bottom up approach. Never go from top up and be like, here's an institution, go to school, go to uni. There's always things behind going there that makes sense. I mean, you've done a lot of things. You, yeah. you rented this now and, and you've been to the police, um, real estate agent, personal trainer. Um, you're young. Ever thought about politics? Uh, no, no. <laughs> at one point I did actually, when I was younger, when I used to go to um, high school, I think it was year 11, I was like, um, I'm going to become the Prime Minister of New Zealand. <laughs> but no, not seriously, no, I haven't thought about it. Yeah. Stranger things have happened. Yeah. Um, all right, let's, let's, let's go on to Miss World. Uh, you're heading off there tomorrow. Yes. 119 other contestants and an audience of over a billion. Yeah. Are you nervous? I'm actually not nervous. I, I feel like I'm just gonna go give it my all and be myself, because I've always noticed with myself, whenever I've set something in life, I've always like try to do the best I can in it and achieve what I can. But yeah, the nerves haven't hit me. I think once I'm on the plane, it will be, yeah. I mean, is it a competition? Is it a platform? What is it for you? It's not a competition. Um, I think I said that in my interview as well. I don't think it's a competition. I think it's a platform where women will come from different countries, different backgrounds, and bring a lot of extraordinary things and offer a lot of things that I will get to learn from it. The whole world will get to learn from it and show people that it's not just about beauty, you know. There is always a purpose. There's always giving back to community. Do you and the family ever stop, pinch yourself and think, is this real? Yeah, I think um, there's a lot of moments in between when we're like doing stuff, like getting everything ready. And I think there's moments where we sit down as a family and we just take it all in and say it's happening, like it's actually happening. I am going to Miss World, New Ze uh, Miss World to represent New Zealand. It is overwhelming though. Like, and how are the family feeling about it? How's, how's your sister feeling about it? Because she entered too. She came yeah. third. Yeah, so she's actually a great support. She's actually done everything for me. <laughs> um, because I've been doing other things, she's been packing my stuff, um, showing me what to wear and everything. Um, because she's always been more of the fashion person out of us. Um, she used to always be like, you know, on point. Um, she's helped me a lot. Like. I would put my makeup on a certain way, just basically just put blusher on and everything. But she's the one that does it properly and she's bought me all this stuff and she's like, you have to put this on, this on, this on. And she's been a great support. So you've got a, a quite a unique X factor here um, it, to add it to your story. Uh, in that you you have Indian heritage mm -hmm. um, and although you were born, you were brought up in New Zealand, you couldn't be more Kiwi. Um, how do you think that added X factor of you having Indian heritage 
is going to go for you in India, where the, the grand final is. I think it will be great actually. I think it will be an uh, opportunity where I could actually tell some of the other contestants of what traditions we hold. Like, it will be because I know the place, I know that how people are and everything. I think I'll be a helpful person with all the other contestants as well. And I think, um, yeah, I think India, India will, I think, open, like, um, invite me with open arms as well because they're always, but they're welcoming to anyone, to be honest. Yeah. So there are going to be other um, young Kiwi Wahini watching this and thinking, mm. should I enter Miss World New Zealand next time? Mm. Should I, shouldn't I? What would you say to them? I would say yes. I would say definitely do it. Even if you're a shy person, I would say just come out there and try it because it will, you will learn something, you know, and you would make great friends. Like we were only here for two days and we've made quite a few friends that we're still in touch with. Um, I think it will be a great um, experience, first of all. And second of all, you, you don't know if you're going to win, you know, you could bring something so extraordinary to the platform that, you know, you could achieve the title. So yeah, I think I would, I would say just go for it.